wanted to make this video of me practicing. As you can see, I start off. I've been on lockdown for a while. I got a club head speed about 94 miles an hour. I wanted to show you that a practice session is is a process. I'm going to talk you through how I kind of change some things as we go. Here, for instance, I'm pointing out in front of the ball to the front heel line. And I, ma I made a move um, basically from my hands, from my right shoulder down to my left hip. And I'm concentrating on a feeling for where I want to go. go. I want to go through the ball. I don't want to hit at it. I want to hit through it. This is at 240 frames per second. And I filmed slow motion for myself. I can see small moves that way and possibly see um, mistakes I'm making. Or really, I can see improvements that I could make so that I can get faster. And also always measure. You have to measure if you're going to get better. So I did all that and I basically am off balance. Um, I hit it off the toe. And I got a club speed of uh, 92. Smash factor was fine. 267 would have been the carry. But it's not a good hit. Not at 92 miles an hour. So I could blame, you know, shaking off that winter rust. But really, there's more to it than that. You can see I'm moving from the ground up. My knees almost make a spiraling action. So my club head speed is now 95. 267 is the distance, the carry. Decent smash factor, good launch angle. So here what I'm doing is I'm standing up straight, bending over from the waist, and I'm going to point the hosel to the inside of the ball. The reason being I'm trying to center my contact, which I managed there, I'm trying to hit the sweet spot. So you see a jump in club head speed, 98, 275 in distance, good spin and smash factor, launch, all good. So I might use a swing like that, for instance, um, to play on a regular basis, to be consistent. I'm not going all out. So here's another similar strike. You have to learn from what you're doing. Get the input and then try only one thing at a time to improve. Here I'm standing up straight. Once again, I'm going to point the stick right to the ball. You can see where the hosel is actually pointing right at the ball. So didn't catch it in the center. And not really high club head speed. It's certainly not my normals. A pro swing 
Average is 113 miles per hour. Cameron Champ, for instance, averages 129, I believe. He's the longest right now. So here I'm waggling to lose some of my tension in my body. I'm pointing the stick. And my only thought is to return that stick down to the inside part of the ball. That's all I'm concentrating on. I'm trying to get my contact consistent. Still the same club head speed. But you can see consistency in the other rates. Here it is in fast motion. So it sounds loud, it's got all the good numbers, but I'm just not getting that speed, the club head speed. So what am I doing wrong? Or a better thing to say would be, how can I improve it? This is absolutely my worst swing. And because I did effort to try and get that speed up, when you use more effort, you tend to wobble the body even more, have more tension, and it was the worst hit of the practice session. better contact and I'm right back to what I was doing but only 255 club head speed 94 so I'm gonna practice a faster move with my arms my hands from my shoulder down to the left hip that's what that motion was I'm trying to set that into my brain that one thought Let's see how I respond. That looked a little freer. And all of a sudden, my club head speed's 98, and I flew at 275. All good launches and spins. So I found something. That thought of speeding my hands up and lighting up my anatomy trains, which I'm doing here by turning my left side of my neck further in the backswing and tightening my spiral lines allows me to get a club head speed suddenly of 170 miles an hour. The distance is only 267 because there's some effects of me swinging faster to the club itself. It has more spin and the shaft reacts differently. So here I'm pointing out in front to the front heel line. You can see the line in the patio going right to my heel. 
I'm pointing the stick up there. I want to go through the ball, not at it. I'm not hitting at a ball. I'm using speed to a point out in front of the ball, through the ball. There is no ball. So you can see me reach out. I'm making sure that my arms have room underneath the armpits. And I'm going to use my anatomy trains by really turning my head and neck more back to the right and then more back to the left. How about that? Club at speed 123 miles an hour. I'm flying at only 266, but I'm spinning it more. My launch angle becomes higher. The club head's kicking differently because the speed of my swing has gone way up. I'm gonna do another practice session uh, later next week. We'll explain how I marry the two between smash factors and getting the right spin rates. So how about that? Club head speed, 126 miles an hour. 275 yards of carry. But that club head speed is capable of much more than that. And there's things I can do to adjust get even further distance. Here I marry the two using my anatomy trains. I'm keeping a little stiller down in the lower part of my body. I only got 107, but see the distance, 289. Good smash factor, good launch, good ball speed. But it's capable of much more. I'm going to do three different swings here. The first swing is just a cruising speed. I'm turning that neck back and through. I didn't extend my best, and that's something I'll work on in the next session in a week. As you can see, 275. But spinny, it'll go a long way downwind. Here's the original swing I was doing. I'm too sliding. I'm not getting weight transfer. The body's too loose and has too much movement. You can see I fall way off in distance even though I hit it dead center. So here I'm going to do a swing where I keep the lower part of the body still, the tailbone, and flip. <laughs> Distance 267 yards. So you can see that that's the way I would play. 267 is fine. 270. So here's the practice session. I review it. You can see that my speeds were all around 93, 94. We had that one really bad swing. But then when I Used anatomy trains, I went 117, 123, 126 miles per hour. It's at 63 years of age. And then these are the last three swings we can review the different swings club at speed 120, 91, and 105. The 105 would be what I would use to play on the course. Good smash factor. Very controlled. You're not flopping all over. And I can repeat that again and then again with a flick. Another thing I do is I always review prior dates. So here I'll go into a file from last year just to give you a comparison. And it gives me something to measure against. So you can see it's all 105, 103, 107, 107, 107. Good smash factors. 
you have a 289 in there and you have a 279 but that's the normal that's my way i play in the course So take a look at this information, and I'll do some others like this, and use your anatomy trains. Go to uh, search MJB Golf, Vimeo On Demand. Go down to the bottom in the bonus features, they're free, and do the first two videos on anatomy trains so that you understand exactly how I'm increasing speed that easily in 20 balls so everyone be well and i'll do more of these so that we have something to watch during these um not critical times these uh harsh times but we'll be back and summer will be here and we'll be ready we're we'll ready to to hit the links and it's coming soon folks this too shall pass stay well everyone